now a7 to d6. So we already did a7. That's the first finger on the second fret of the fourth string. Third finger on the second fret of the second string. And then you're going to play d6. You'll put your first finger on the second fret of the third string. And then your second finger on the second fret of the first string. Try to avoid hitting the top two strings when you play that chord, but if you do hit them, it's not that big of a deal. Go back to A7, and D6. So we'll start off on A7, and play this in whole notes. You have four beats to get from one chord to the other. One, two, three, four. Now to D6. So now try strumming those chords in half notes. Start off on A7, strum each chord two times, let each strum ring for two beats. One, two, three, four. And now switch to D6. Back to A7. strum each chord four times, let each strum ring for one beat. One, two, three, four. So now we're going to strum E7 and D6. So starting off on E7, and you'll have four beats to get from E7 to D6. Now strum each chord in half notes, strum each chord two times, let each strum ring for two beats. One, two, three, four. Strum each chord four times, let each strum ring for one beat. One, two, three, 